Hi, my name is Tim Earle. Uh, I go to Arizona State University in Phoenix, Arizona, where I'm studying biology. And uh, I came on the Journey of Hope just to, in an attempt to give back a little bit to uh, the community and the people and they've given me so many great experiences over my time in, uh, in this organization in Pi Kappa Phi and with the Ability Experience. And uh, what's been some of the most memorable things that's happened to you on this trip? Oh man, well, uh, probably one of, one of the most memorable uh, times was we were on our, uh, our first really, really long ride and uh, a lot of us were having a real hard time with it. And, but we were just getting towards the end of it and uh, there was this one guy uh, in the line who he had a lot of energy, and so basically what he did was he was just straight up motivating us. He was shouting at us, telling us, you know, you guys can do it. You can make it. I'm going to make sure you guys get it there. And uh, that was just one of the moments where I realized, you know, I'm really going to start bonding with these guys on this team. How long was that, how long was that leg of the trip? That first drive was uh, 107 miles. And, and how far we all totally ride? Uh, how far in total? We'll, yeah. we'll be doing about 3,700 miles over the summer, or about 2,000-something in. Okay. And y'all uh, left when? Uh, we left on June 12th. From where? From Long Beach, California. And you're going to wind up where? We're going to wind up in Washington, D.C. All right. And at, you average how many miles a day? Uh, roughly about 80, uh, 75, 80 miles a day. What's the longest one you've made so far? The longest ride we've had was uh, 115 miles, but uh, tomorrow we're riding 125. Why 125 tomorrow? Uh, well, we're going from here to Carrollton, Georgia. So we're going all the way through the rest of Alabama tomorrow. And, and what do you do when you get to wherever it is you're going for the night? Well, uh, usually we'll, uh, we'll finish the ride, we'll get to our uh, place where we're staying, and uh, we'll change really fast, and then we'll uh, hop in the vans and go over to a friendship visit where we'll hang out with uh, local organizations like uh, Best Buddies or uh, Shriners Hospital like we did back in uh, Louisiana and uh, just spend some time with them, have, do some fun activities, have a little bit of lunch, and just you know, kind of hang out with the people, hang out with the kids that are there, and uh, show them the, you know, why, why we're out there. And uh, it's really awesome just to, at the end of the day, you know, it's been a long ride, but you get there and you can just tell it makes these people's day. And uh, they, just, they get there, they're so excited to see you. And you, know, you might be really tired, but once you get there, you're not tired anymore. Uh what time do y'all get in bed and what time do y'all get up each day? Uh, well, we usually end up uh, falling asleep around 10 o'clock and then uh, depending on how long the ride is, we'll usually get up around 5, 5.30. So, so you fall asleep about 10 after riding 75 to 80 miles, right? Uh, probably, uh, yeah. <laughs> and what do you hope to, to learn from this trip? Uh, I just really, uh, I want to learn you know, more about this, the, the the community with people with disabilities. My uh, my roommate back home has a, a brother who is a very severe uh, case of autism, and uh, I've I've gotten to watch them uh, hang out a couple times, and I've never really quite understood um, how uh, my roommate you know operates with him and uh, hangs out with him as much as he does, and jumps you know at any opportunity to go hang out with his brother. But um, that, so what I, main thing I want to learn on this trip was. Uh, the way he way he does that, and uh, I I actually got a chance to do that back in Las Vegas because uh, I got to hang out with this uh, one boy. His name was JJ. He was he was about my age, and uh, he had a very similar case of autism. I got to spend an entire day with him at a water park, and at, uh, after that day, I have a lot more respect and a lot more understanding for uh, how and why my roommate does what he does. What's his name? Uh, my roommate. Yeah. Or, uh, his name's Alex. Alex. Okay. All right. Good.